A lot of you ask about sweating when it comes to dysautonomia or POTS. And some people will say, why does everybody increase their sweating amount? And then other people will be like, why can I not sweat? So I think the more important part here is understanding <laughs> whether or not we're seeing too much or too little of that activity, especially with sweating, because we might find that under certain conditions, people sweat, but only in certain spots. And that might you know, link more towards something that is small fiber in orientation or some people notice that like they get really nervous but they sweat in their hands but it's not the same sweat as you get like in your armpits or like in your head right or some people will notice like i only sweat in my head so all of these things point toward different causes and different solutions um but the too much sweating should be differentiated from not enough and then the location the type of sweating whether it's associated with a dry mouth, whether it's associated with tachycardia, all of these things should be separate functions. So if we're seeing them all blur together, that's a really good indicator. And then we just look at where in the brain do those things actually function together. And then that helps us be able to figure it out.